listen, you may not be an All-American in football. You may not even be a first-teamer on your own team. You may remain a walk-on your whole career. But I do know that you're getting ready to have an opportunity to be an All-American in someone's life that will make a difference. Way more important than scoring a touchdown. Chris Tomlin has started Angel Armies that is all about taking care of foster care orphans in the United States. Every one of us are called to care. Every one of us are called to care. You don't get out of that. There's no pass on this. We're all called to care for the vulnerable people, the least of these, so we all have a role to play. We got this crazy idea about uh, the college football team being a part of meeting needs of, uh, of kids and, and maybe helping keep kids out of the foster care system. Uh, man, immediately I just knew God had answered our prayer. And I have knew of Coach's faith and uh, I loved how outspoken he was and how unashamed he was to talk about the Lord. Where do we join God at work that makes a difference in people's lives? And to have outside. Jill by his side in unity together towards this picture and the bigger story of what they bring together. It's just so exciting to see. This is a privilege that we get to be a part of building young men to be great husbands and great fathers and great men of their community. And I really believe that the dent that we could put on the front end of foster needs will be immediately felt in, in all the given states that are adopted by these college football programs. Yeah, the operation we're going to use here to, to make it happen is, is each position group, there's 10 of them uh, on our team, will receive $10,000 each. And the needs will come in, real needs in real time through the care portal to our coaching staff and our coaches' wives. And they'll present those to the, to the team each Monday. The process is easy. It's so easy. We are going to filter through those needs and pray over those. and decide which ones to present and how many to present to each position. And the running backs will have to grant, hey, this is the one we want to support this week, and the quarterbacks and the receivers. And they'll be from different areas all over the United States of, of, of cities that have partnered with Care Portal. The team will talk about it and pray about it and make a decision on, on which needs they want to want to meet. And then we send an email and say, this is what we're doing. And it will be a miracle in, in the family's eyes, and uh, I just can't wait to hear the stories. I know that the focus will be the game and, and those young men that we've prepared to play that game. And But hey, we're representing some others besides just the Liberty Flame Nation and, and our fans and our administration. Uh, we also, you know, are champions for children and we've got uh, a lot of families that we've been able to meet their needs uh, through the care of Portland and Angel Armies that, you know, I'm sure are pulling for us somewhere and uh, we get to represent them today also. I was on the south side of Chicago, very poverty stricken place. It's just really not the best place to be. So we've had cops come and take parents to jail sometimes, and it's, it's hard to watch. I was adopted um, growing up um, to a great family. We've all been through, you know, childhood and um, you know, seeing ourselves and those kids um, is every bit of motivation that you need to, you know, want the best for them and want better for the next generation. It looks like we will be able to reach at least a thousand children 
this football season through this program. A thousand. And when I see that thousand, like I can picture them in the stands. We looked at it and it would probably take up a whole section full of children. And I see the faces of their children and their children. The generational impact that this could have. But even if it didn't, that 1,000 is enough. That 1,000 is enough. Like, I'm blown away by 1,000 children. At the end of the day, yes, we are still somebody's children, but we're, we're grown men at this point. It's, it's time that we you know, start taking the rein, and um, you know, the next generation is on our shoulders.